Hi guys, welcome back to AJ's Paintings. Um, today I'm going to do a tree swipe, but on a longer canvas. So this one is um, 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. I already covered it with white paint. Uh, so I'm using Artist Loft Titanium White. Um, I mix it with float wall and water. So my recipe is the same that I always use, 30 grams of water, 40 grams of paint, and 80 grams of float roll. Um, I have a mixing video that I show you how I mix my paint. If you have not seen it, I'll put a link up above so you can see it uh, to see like how I mix my paint. So I'm gonna, I have not done it this way, so I don't know. Um, let's try to see how it looks. So I was thinking I'll just do my lines like this and then make a tree going that way so let's see how it works out okay so i'm going to start um with purple this one is actually uh, neon violet this is by artist loft um so i mix it the same ratio so i'm going to find like a middle of the canvas it doesn't have to be exact um, and just start on one side and go straight. Okay. My second one is fluorescent green. This is by Liquitex Basics. Uh, again, mixed with same ratio. There is no silicone. Um, I get this question a lot that if I put silicone in my paints, I for this one, I don't. For any of my tree swipes, there is no silicone in any of the paints. All the paints are mixed, uh, same ratio, same with float roll and water. This one is neon pink, and this is also Artist Loft. Again. This one is lemon yellow. Oh my God, it's, you can't see it, but it's lemon yellow by Artist Loft again. Oops, this one is running out. All right, last one. This one is Prussian blue by Pebio. All right, and the last one, this one is going to be my swipe color. This one is black by Artist Loft. Um, and then again, with same ratio, uh, float roll and water. There is no silicone in this one either. Oops, I guess this one is running out too. Okay, go back this way. All right. Okay. So now, uh, oh wow. <laughs> I guess I got a lot of paint on here, but that's okay. It's going to get swiped. So I'm going to use a butane torch um, to take away all the bubbles. I did that when after I put my white paint on the canvas, I went over it with the torch first to get all the bubbles out of the paint. And now when I put on the colored paint, I'm going to be doing it all again. So you really want those bubbles out. Otherwise, if you don't, um, when the painting is dry, those bubbles pop and then they leave those like kind of like pin needle marks, like, like dents in your painting and you don't want that. Please make sure you are moving your torch um, frequently. You're not staying at one spot for too long. Be careful with the torch when you're using it. All right. Okay, so I had to turn off the camera for a bit because I I was looking for my scissor, which I lost. I can't find because I wanted to cut off the the, the cardboard. I just had to rip it. Um, okay, so I don't usually like doing this, like using a long one because then you can't really control it. It could um, 
turn um, that's why I like to cut it if I could find my scissor um, hmm. I don't want to rip it because if I try to rip it it's going to flip oh there we go I found it okay so I do want to cut it because then I can control it better and I do want to cut it into like different sizes even now I can see like it could dig in but let's try it anyways okay so I'm gonna start from one side I can see that my black is kind of like sunk in I don't know what kind of effect it's going to give but let's give it a try so I'll start from one side so dig in a little bit keep your hand very very light when you swipe across Okay. Keep a paper towel handy because you need to clean it every time you swipe. All right. Now I want to. I'm going to just overlap it a little bit. Again, dig in. Okay. And you keep going. Just take your time, no need to rush. You just need to swipe it once and don't don't go over it unless you really, really have to. So now when I'm going back, I'm not gonna start from here. I'm gonna start where I can see more black and I'm gonna just very lightly start pushing it. Okay, so this part here, see like because my cardboard started to tilt I didn't even get that part so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut a smaller one so I don't go over too much and I'm gonna go in here there we go don't worry for it to match the other side it's not supposed to so since this one did that I'm gonna switch to another cleaner one don't worry about this part it's gonna go under the trunk anyways whoa I did not clean it properly I got a drip in here that's okay okay just dig in I feel like this part here is digging in too much. So maybe I need to change either the cardboard or maybe how I'm holding it that it's doing that. So maybe I'll switch my hand and use my left hand. I have left less control with my left hand so it might be a little bit better. Yeah. Wow, I can see more yellow in here that I like. Okay, one more. Oh no, I can see a lot of digging in. Okay, it really dug in there. Okay, no worries. We'll go over it. Okay, wow. Beautiful. I hope the white doesn't take over too much. I just grab a clean paper towel. Okay, now let's put our tree in it. So for the tree, I need to cut the other way. So I'm gonna just cut this direction because I want something like this. 
and i think i'm going to which side looks prettier i think this looks nice for the sky so let's let's go in that direction this one can go under the branches so that will take care of it okay so i want the branches all over here so i'm thinking i'll start here and i'll kind of go here and then keep adding actually go up there and then i'll keep adding on the bottom okay let's try this it's like a real odd um way i, I hope i'm not covering too much from the camera like I'm not going in front of it too much let me try with this hand so you can see better so I like that part and I don't want to touch it so let's go from here okay it's better Let me know if you guys have given it a try. I love it when someone shares their uh, their creations with me. I get on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, I love it when I hear from you. I see your trees. They're beautiful. Okay. I wanna do something over there too. So let's, okay. The, the background looks so pretty that you don't want to touch it. You don't want to ruin it. But then the tree adds so much to it that I'm like, okay. <laughs> I have to choose between... Both. I don't know which one to choose so I just keep going because I love the trees I was actually planning to like go down but I feel like I don't need to go really to like how it looks in here I don't think I should go down too much this part here though it's kind of trying to make it more organic I think I like I like the long trunk like this part here I think it needs a little bit more love I don't want to balance it out too much You know what I I think I I should stop I don't think I should continue too much because I really like how it looks from the background uh, see this one I kind of ruined let me just clean it up a little bit there All right, you know what? I I think it looks beautiful. I don't think I want to continue. I think I, I'm gonna stop right here. Let me know what you think. Oh, I love the background and I think how did these different colors are showing. It's just so pretty. 
I'm going to show you a close up after this, of course. Uh, please do let me know what you think. Um, and if you give it a try, share pictures with me. Uh, I would love to see them. Okay, here we go. Here is the background, background close up. I really wanted to like show you like the whole thing in standing up, but wow, look at that. I think I like this longer canvas, like a long tree. It looks so pretty. Please do let me know in the comments what you think. If you want me to try more of these, um, if you want any specific combos, let me know and I'll give them a try. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Enjoy.